Okay, guys, one of the things that we've talked about in class is how to write the equation of a line. Um, and, and you guys know that I call this, um, instead of an equation, the new thing that I'm calling this now is the model for a, for a specific situation. A lot of patterns and stuff like that. And that's really what lines are, patterns. Um, and we want to we observe that pattern of growth or decay over time. So we want to know if it's increasing or de decreasing. So one of the ways that they can ask you to do this um, is to create the equation of a line given a graph. Um, and so they, they're trying to be tricky here, and they're trying to, to look at things. What I want to encourage you guys to do is always do your problems the same way, even though there's many techniques out there. As you grow in mathematical confidence and things like that, you guys can change what you're going to do over time. So the first thing I want you guys to always remember is we're going to use the x, y, t table. Um, and in order to do this, obviously, we need to know some point values to plug in here. So find these point values. they will always be highlighted on a graph somehow. And so this first first one right here you guys can see is negative 3, 9. The second one is 1, 1. So we're going to plug these into our table, our T table. And the first thing that we need to find is the uh, rate of change, or what I call the change factor, or what some books call the slope. So how does 9 become a 1? Well, you subtract 8. And how does negative 3 become a 1? You add 4. Stack those two values over each other, and always remember to do y over x. Always do y over x. Books and everybody else calls that rise over run. Just always remember that. And then always reduce your fractions. Once we're done, we take our change factor. We slap on the x. And this is our first guess. So we need to test our guess by using one of the points from above. I tell you guys, always use the very first one. It's the easiest. So as you guys see, I'm going to test this point by plugging in the negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, but I want it to be a 9. So how can I force 6 to become a 9? I just simply come in here and I force it by adding a 3. So my next conjecture, or my next guess, is y equals negative 2x plus 3. I have one final point of 1, 1. The beautiful thing of that is that I can check. So here's my second guess. I'm going to go ahead and check this by plugging in y equals negative 2 times 1 and adding 3. That's equal to negative 2 plus 3. And that's equal to 1, which is what I wanted. So therefore, I know that my second guess of y equals negative 2x plus 3 is correct. Hopefully that helps you guys out when given a graph and how to make the equation of a line.